Greetings and salutations, and welcome to a very quick one. A lot of people are having an issue with their uh, smaller aircraft pitching, sorry, rolling slightly left, and it's a cumulative effect. Let's take a quick look at that. I'm going to take a basic aircraft I know has an issue. The Piper Cherokee. Uh, where is it? Ah, there we are. So, we know that the passenger, oh sorry, the driver, driver, the, pa uh, the pilot, <laughs> I need another coffee, sits on the left of this aircraft. Right? So we have 170 pounds sitting on the one side of the aircraft. Now, one of the things with this that is missing, I find, is like a, a top-down view of the aircraft that shows you where the center of gravity currently is sitting, which is a bit of a shame. Uh, people familiar with um, Kerbal Space Program will recognize, uh, you know, as you adjust things, the center of gravity moves around, and if you get that center of gravity too far from, well, the center, things start going wrong. So, that's my current setup. Weather conditions, nobody cares, departure airport. Right, here we go. Put to the stick left and right. I'm just going to keep the nose up. So there's that gentle left roll. So now let's go back and we'll change the uh, the layout, the, the weight distribution on the aircraft. Right, so back again, same aircraft. I'm going to change the config and the payload. So this time I'm going to pretend that I am in fact zero mass. So I'm going to take this down. Now we'll put the front seat passenger up to 170. Okay, so now what I've done is I've taken, if you imagine a line down the center of the aircraft and a little circle, what I've done is I've taken that circle that was slightly on the left of the aircraft and I have moved it slightly to the right. So we'll go back same weather conditions. Right, so let's try again, shall we? Maximum throttle. And up we go, and a no input on the stick, left or right. So now we can see that there's a gentle right movement on the stick, uh, on, not on the stick, sorry, on the aircraft. All I'm doing is I'm just holding some back pressure just to get it to go up. And as we can see, there's a gentle right pitch, uh, roll, rather. So, what if I take all the weight out altogether and drop the, or, or add some weight rather, and drop the center of gravity directly on the center of the aircraft. So here we are again, same aircraft. Got to configure payload. So, apparently I weigh 170 pounds. I actually find that quite insulting. So let's add another 170. on the passenger. So now that yellow dot that would be the center of gravity is now sitting on that center line on the aircraft. So let's try this again. Same airport, same conditions. All I'm going to do is correct a little bit with my rudder so we don't go flying off the runway. 
And then once we're in the air, again, just back on the stick, I'm not going to put any left or right input in. So there's that left drift because of the engine. And then up and away. Right, so no left or right input. I'm just climbing, that's it. See how we're getting no roll? wings are remaining level. I am getting a slight drift, but there's no actual roll occurring on the aircraft. So why does this happen? Well, first of all, we have to look at the position of the wings on the aircraft. Uh, because the wings are below the center of gravity, any changes in the center of gravity are actually a lot more noticeable on aircraft where the wings are lower. On aircraft with the wings above the cockpit, this effect of weight distribution is not as noticeable. You will see it, but you know, it's it's not as noticeable. But yeah, if you find that you're having a real problem with your aircraft pulling left, go into payload and level out your weight distribution in your aircraft. Happy flying.